Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. We are continuing the Angular Material series with this accordion tutorial. Accordion is already an existing component in Angular Material, but in this video we will use accordion with CDK. That means that we will get the full functionality of accordion, but it is on us to create our own custom styling. Before we start, be sure to subscribe as I post new content weekly. I will generate a specific component to use this accordion. To do that, open your terminal and run ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components slash cdk slash accordion. Once our component was generated, open the app.component.html file. In this file, I will hide this accessibility from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. Now here I will use the component that I just generated. As we plan to use an accordion, we must import a proper module for it as well. For that, open the app.module.ts file and in it make sure to import the CDK accordion module. Next to that, be sure to pass that module down in imports array. If you plan to use the accordion in a real life example, you will probably have some data to present. So I will open my accordion.component.ts file to create the array of data. I will here create the array of cars and I will make a property for the expanded index. Now let's create our accordion. First of all, I will add some div with the style attribute. I will use the width of this div to be 500 pixel and margin to be 50 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right. With this I will make sure that my accordion is in center. Now we can simply use our CDK accordion. The accordion itself will have its own items. Here I will create just one item and I will use ng4 loop to present one for each entry in my array of cars. We can also now create the reference to each of our accordion items and we can as well customize our attributes as we wish. This is obviously not the primary task, but it is also doable. Our items can have the header part as accordions usually have. The header part is mainly used to toggle accordion items, so that we will do here as well. We can do that here as we have that reference to our accordion item. And as we made a reference to material accordion item, we will have this toggle method. Inside of my header, now I will present the name of my car and I will add some kind of a description which will be changed based if my accordion is opened or closed. Next to the header, accordions usually have a body itself. That body is shown only when the accordion is toggled. Again, I can customize my body with specific attributes. And in this example, for the content of my body, I will just pass some dummy lorem ipsum text. At this point, we have an accordion with items. And to be honest, it is already quite customized. But if you visit your local host right now, you will have just the text on a screen. That text is even clickable. And we can even toggle our items, so the functionality of our accordion indeed works. Obviously, the material provided that functionality to us. But now it is on us to style this accordion as we wish. As this is not a CSS tutorial, I will just copy and paste some styling. So I will open my accordion.component.css file. Here I will paste my styling and you can use my styling for this accordion or you can create your own. But visiting now my local host, we can see that the custom styles were passed into my accordion. At this point it looks like a proper component and it is even customized. So if you wish to style it appropriately with your team, you can do that by using this CDK accordion. That way you will get the full functionality from material and the styling is on you. It is much easier that way. But guys, this will be all for this video. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.